Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Wanted to show you the visible satellite loop. As you can see, a lot of smoke, unfortunately, from Josephine County right into Jackson County and moving to the north right through Douglas County. We also have plenty of smoke into Siskiyou County. This smoke is being pushed off to the north and northeast into Klamath County as well, and you can see the major offenders here, the Natchez Fire, Klondike and Granite Fire, Taylor Creek Fire, that's what's uh, basically producing a lot of this smoke and blowing it right into, unfortunately, the Medford area. We also have a few fires uh, east of the Cascades as well. The Stone Fire and also in Lake County, the Watson Creek Fire. Those areas of smoke continue to move off to the north and northeast from upper level winds out of the south and southwest. So we'll be dealing with that, unfortunately. At times, though, the air quality will be improving, so it's not always going to be bad. And in some areas, such as the coast, you've been dealing with some pretty decent air quality, even if you've seen some smoke at times compared to what's been going on here in the Medford area. Showers and storms off to our north and northeast. These showers and storms will continue to diminish overnight tonight. The upper level low is what's pushing all that wind. The upper level winds from the south and southwest to the north and northeast. And again, that's what's helping push the smoke to the north and northeast as well. This upper level low will finally move inland on Friday. And it looks like after that, we're going to have less of a chance for showers and storms. They're going to be to the east of our area coming up on Friday. Our forecast for the coast, lows will be in the upper 40s through the 50s. High temperatures, 50s and 60s for the most part. Yes, areas of low clouds, some fog, maybe some patchy drizzle tonight, tomorrow morning. More sunshine trying to break out during the day. We move inland. And again, we're going to be dealing with areas of smoke and haze, possibly dense at times. Uh, there will be some uh, improvement in some areas, though, overnight into tomorrow morning. Our temperatures will be in the 80s and 90s for highs tomorrow with hazy sunshine, areas of smoke. East of the Cascades, low temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s for the most part. And I have highs generally in the 80s to around 90. Any uh, widely scattered to isolated showers or storms will be diminishing later this evening, especially in northern parts of Lake and Klamath counties. We'll see more smoke and also haze tomorrow. The temperatures, though, for Crater Lake, we're looking at 53 and 68 for your numbers. Seven day forecast for the Rogue Valley. Yes, it's still going to be hot. It will be hazy sunshine and areas of smoke, but at times we could see some improvement in the air quality, so that's a good thing to look forward to overall. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s for lows. And for the Klamath Basin, areas of smoke and haze continue. Your low temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s and highs in the 80s to around 90. For Mount Shasta City, haze and smoke may be dense at times. Your highs in the 80s and low 90s and low temperatures generally in the 40s and 50s for the coast. At times there will be some areas of haze and smoke, but for the most part you've been dealing with much better air quality along the coast compared to here in the Rogue Valley. Your highs in the 50s and 60s, some areas may make it into the 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s.